What's up you guys? It's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Fall is in full force in New York and it's beautiful. I took a three mile run through the park yesterday and it was amazing. Also, I have all new fall clothes. I'm literally in pajamas right now, so great showing off on my part. However, I am going to do a styling portion in this vlog. Vivaya sent me four pairs of shoes and the world's greatest park slash gym bag. The day I got this, I started using it and I haven't stopped since. I'm going to create four different outfits using my new thrifted clothes and the new shoes. These are indoor shoes to me, so this is how I style them. I typically wear these slippers with dramas. They're very much in the apartment or in the apartment building shoes. They're really chic. And honestly, my toenail color matches incredibly with them. This is my favorite pajama set, 100%. This is what I would more than likely be wearing. These are, to me, indoor shoes. But by all means, you could totally wear them out. I'm just not going to. These are the next shoes. And these look white, but if you look very closely, they're almost rosy. Winter white. They're not winter white. With these patch pants, white button down, brown jacket come on look at these i love them i feel incredibly comfortable this outfit is so fall next i chose square toe brown i've wanted square toe boots i've wanted brown shoes this fit the bill we have a turtleneck a button down and a coat same pants i showed before brown boots Some mid calf lace up pointed toe booties. A little bit more adult, a little bit sexier than the other two, and something that I styled in a casual way. Monochromatic outfit, all navy besides the boots. The boots are black, but I thought it'd be fun. I mean, black boots, very easy to style with just about anything. Would look great with a black outfit. It's not what I wanted to do today. Today, we wanted to do navy. Certainly a little black sweater dress would be great for this. And then lastly, already mentioned, this incredibly lightweight mesh tote. It comes in a few different colors. I have been carrying the same tote to the gym for the last six months. It's starting to really wear on my arm because the strap's getting weaker and weaker. And so this came at a perfect time. And this I love to even have for when I'm running a quick errand and going to pick up two things at the grocery store even more than that it could fit i'm so surprised by the amount that can fit in this bag also my tote that i was using before was a lot more narrow this one's wider and shorter and i find that to be a lot easier to dig through and find my keys than something that's long and narrow things get a little bit more lost in there so this is a, a hidden find i had like very little expectation for a tote and I think this ended up being my favorite item out of everything. And the shoes are A1. Vivaya is a sustainable shoe and accessory company. The most comfortable heel I've ever tried. This is my second time working with them. I'm telling you, order some, wear them, and be like, damn, Lexi was right. She was absolutely right. These are incredibly comfortable. I could walk for miles. If you guys are interested in getting anything from Vivaya or learning more, I will have information in the description box that you guys can check out. Thank you Vivaya for sponsoring today's vlog. Oh hi, future Lexi here, coming to you from a hotel in Los Angeles. And I wanted to show the tote in motion. This was my carry-on tote because I'm obsessed with this bag. And this is what I wore it with. So we have a hoodie that has some black and white and red, and then some black pants some shoes that are red and white, and then an all black bag, and I think it looks great. I think I look chic. No, I don't, I don't look chic. I look casual, and I look put together, but I'm very comfortable. And also, I got some matching red nails. Also, you can get an extra 20% off on top of all the buyer promos with code LexiL. And there's free worldwide shipping on all orders over $75 and free returns if you're in the US. Do you notice what you see in the reflection here? I have a subtly extreme room makeover video that I've been kind of in the process of doing for six months to a year. That's a little piece of it. What else was I gonna say? 
oh i signed up for a best buy credit card because i go to best buy a lot and i figured that would be a good one to have the point is i was put through so many different circles on best buy support number just to find out that the only way for me to use the credit card since it hasn't arrived in the mail yet is to go to the store so i figured the sun sets in an hour or so could do a little sunset bike ride to best buy <laughs> how romantic <laughs> The night lighting on this camera is amazing. It's so dark out, you would never know. I also went and picked up my shoes from the shoe repair shop. If you are looking to get your shoes repaired, you know, the cap fell off of your cowboy boot, or your little Prada heels are down to nubs, or you need new lining on your shoes, ugh. Go see Alex, he's worth every penny. In Prospect Heights, type in shoe repair, Flatbush Ave, it's right by the Sweet Chick and the Chipotle. He is so reasonably priced, but also worth every penny. Fall in New York, baby, fall in New York. And so many Halloween decorations. Look at the little ghosts over here. I'm revealing that this is vlog footage from a minute ago. I get it, it's before Halloween. My uploading can't keep up with the amount that I vlog. But that just means so much footage for you. And I could have deleted all these scenes with the ghosts and the Halloween decorations, but I want the memories. I could keep it secret from you what the time frame of this vlog is, but I don't want to. Look at these little ghosts. So yellow. Should we do purple? Why not? Let's do purple. Moody, purple and yellow, complimentary, or what are they? They're opposite on the color well. The before of these? Look at the after. Look. Look. I'm editing a vlog. And she's just chilling on my lap. See, my physical, what is it called? No, my love language is physical touch and having a pet has just helped out so much. Catching up with friends, one in real life and one via vlogs. Literally, I have you. And then I have Kaylee's vlog pulled up on YouTube. <laughs> we love you, Kaylee. We miss you, Laszlo. Emily went to Whole Foods. Oh my god, wait. Drew's FaceTiming me. Oh, we have to add him in. We have to add him in. Howdy. Oh my god, Dobby calling We have a cameo. Hi. We have a cameo. <laughs> hey. hey. Um. <laughs> Emily's hair. Okay, Emily, show the Virginia nails. <laughs> I got the Virginia City flag colored nails. I know. Emily and Helen Ann and I were supposed to go to Virginia this weekend, but I can't go, so the two of them are going, and Emily got blue nails inspired. Wait, and Jamie Rose is performing tomorrow. Shut yeah. up. Yes? The plants in front of your face. The, the paid actor. <laughs> I'm dressed like a hooker, and none of you like me. Tired thrift, awoke vintage, Harley Davidson shop in the Tennessee airport. Boots, I forget the brand, but they're thread up. And then this purse holds value to me because when I was interning, instead of getting lunch on my lunch break, I went shopping and I bought this purse from the Olsons line. It's not the row, it's Elizabeth and James. I'm getting lunch with a friend. Also, I am so close, so close to finishing this book, so hopefully I'll finish it on the subway and then I can start one of these. It's a beautiful day in the city. I have to give 
a shout out. These are so good. My dad always has some in the house. I swear he finishes every single day by eating one. And you know, because it's something my, like, sometimes the things that your parents do, you're just like, eh, that's weird. I'm not gonna do it. It's a weird thing that you do. I bought them when I was sick a couple weeks ago. So good. Like, I saw it in the freezer and I thought, mm hmm, I think that would hit the spot. And you know what? It did. Dad, I think you're onto something. Good old Stephen Lombard, I think you know. Also, finished this book, and you know what? I didn't love it, but I kept reading it because it's a collection of short stories. So I figured, you know what? Every story I finish, that's an opportunity to like the next one more. And I went through and I read them all, and you know what? My two favorite stories were towards the end. My two favorite were The Surrogate and the very last one, which was called A Better Place. Not my favorite Otessa Moshvik book. If you haven't read anything by her, I would read my year of rest and relaxation. It's darker, kind of funny. I don't know what I'm going to read next. You want to see some real Lexi Lombard nonsense? Allow me to do a bodega haul. So I left dinner tonight a little wine. Not drunk, buzzed. No, drunk was the right word. You know what, it was a lovely dinner. I had mushroom, it was truffle mushroom. Oh my God. An artichoke salad, truffle mushroom ravioli, like lovely food. And as I was leaving, I was like, it's dessert time, let's stop on the way home and get some dessert. So I leave the restaurant and I stop in one bodega, get something, keep walking, stop in another bodega, get something else, stop in a third bodega and get more. Strawberries. Great. Totally normal. Nothing to be concerned about whatsoever. I don't know if anyone remembers when I lived off of these almost exclusively this time last year. Was convinced that I wanted to live off of strawberries and wear nothing but silk dresses. Great. Then I got cookies and cream ice cream. And then I got a chocolate chocolate cup. Instead of like a chocolate peanut butter cup, it's a chocolate cup with more chocolate. And then I got this milk bar chocolate birthday truffle crumb cake. And then I decided some vegan Cool Whip would be great for the strawberries. And then I also, oh, I have my leftover ravioli. But why do I have to get chocolate, then go somewhere else and get chocolate, and then go somewhere else and get chocolate? And I don't know what I'm going to do with all this now. Am I, am I going to make a, a platter? Am I going to do like a little tasting platter? No, I was asleep 10 minutes after this clip. Out cold. I'm still a little buzzed. I don't know how. Am I this much of a lightweight? The Lombards and alcohol. It hits us so quick. Half my family doesn't even drink. Okay, I'm, I need to stop spilling family secrets. It's time for me to go. I'm gonna watch Made or something.